Today we're learning what side of the rubber you should be standing on and what the advantages are on standing either side of the rubber or maybe in the middle. So if home plate was down here, then the batter is going to be either a right-handed hitter or a left-handed hitter. So if I'm a right-handed pitcher, my arm slot's going to be over here in some part of the area. So if I was pitching and I was standing right in the middle and my arm slot is right about here, we're gonna be creating this angle to the plate versus if I am further over, if I'm pitching from here now and my arm slots here, we create a different angle and approach and attack to the hitter. So keeping this in mind, what your arm slot is and how we want to attack the hitter or what look we want to give the hitter and make it harder for them to hit. <laughs> this, um, this angle that we're going to create is going to be affected by our arm slot. So my examples there were about a three-quarter arm slot guy. But if you were a submariner or sidearm and your arm slots here the angle we create is much steeper further out here than it is when you would pitch from the middle or even from the wrong, from the other side, from the first base side of the rubber. So this was our first spot all the way to the third base side. This was our second spot uh, right about in the middle. And this is our third spot from the first base side if you're a right-handed pitcher. So think about the angles that we want to create to the hitter and what might be more deceptive. Make note in this specific example that the number three line looks middle middle the entire way. So it should be really easy for the right and the left hitters, left handed hitters to see the pitch the entire way. Versus maybe number one where it's a little bit more of an extreme example that it's going to come more from behind the right hand hitter. And so he's going to have to look back over his shoulder more than he would at number three or coming into a left-handed hitter uh, for number one, if it comes straight into a left-handed hitter, it's a different angle and a much harder one than number three. Another thing about number three where the pitch is coming straight on is that BP and batting practice is thrown from this angle all the time. So there's nothing unique about it where the hitters don't see it often. One other thing to consider when you're picking what side of the rubber, other than the angles, is how you can execute pitches. Me personally, it would be advantageous for me to pitch as far to the third base side as possible. But I am not able to execute pitches all the way glove side or away from a right hand hitter um, to the effectiveness that I need it to be. So in order to combat that, I actually throw from the middle of the mound so that I can execute my pitches on both sides of the plate. And at the end of the day, it's about executing the pitches, but if you can add some deception along the way, that will greatly help you.